one of the great things is the urban timber. There's a lot of people that lose trees, and these are taken down by tree services, and they lose trees from storm damage, and that's where I get the logs, and I cut it, and I make material, and I hang on to it. These trees, if they aren't used by a group like Derby Wood, would end up being turned into mulch, which essentially would rot down, or it would go into landfill. And they're just throwing away, you know, beautiful character wood, and, and again, it's just a shame. And some of the, the tree cutting services have such large strippers now, they can take a 24-inch log, and in seconds, it's gone. They just take a winch and they pull the whole tree and they don't even have to cut the branches off. It just basically yanks it in. So it's just sped up the process of underutilization on this product. So those are the trees we're trying to sell. Like a box elder tree just turned out to be beautiful lumber. And you look at it, you know, just in a tree and say, boy, throw that in the burn pile. But once you saw it up, it's, you know, really mind boggling. We don't want to see piles of urban wood piled up in fields burning. Uh, at job sites. We want to have that lumber hauled off by one of our urban wood sawmills. 200 years ago, when you built a house, when you built a barn, you looked around the property where you were building. It was local timber. That's what you built with. I mean, it's just a, it's a shame. There used to be a sawmill in every town and, you know, just windling away, but that's, you know, we're still sawing every day here and, I mean, making lumber. I mean, woodworkers use it, contractors use it. They're actually going to come out and take uh, some of the trees I'm having taken down out back and they're going to have it uh, cut up for me and I'm going to use it for some furniture as well. Um, but anything we can, get, we can uh, get, you know, we'll saw it up between maples to walnuts to sycamore. Somebody that has trees that, that wants them taken care of and uh, what we try to do is if it's economically feasible, get out there, get those logs. In some cases, uh, higher quality logs even pay people. And that's an incentive mostly for them not to let the tree cutters just carry them away. We're supporting the local economy by doing this. You've got to realize that this, this lumber has been handled by local, local people, uh, local sawmills, local arborists. This is adding material resource to this space and it's also adding cash resource to the local economy. We can make lumber, we can build all kinds of nice stuff. You ask any of my customers who have used products from their own yard, you'll see a smile on their face when they tell you the story about where it was, what it was, and what they went through to cut it, and, and how they're enjoying it now. It's, it makes people proud, they're glad they did it, and I think it's the smart thing to do.